What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Vince Warburton and this is VW Fitness. I do fitness tech and supplement review videos every single week, twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays. If that is something that you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell for those notifications. Also, while you're doing that, just give this video a thumbs up because we're going to get really into it. We're going to keep this completely honest, transparent, unbiased, and this is completely unpaid. So today, as you guys know, we are talking about the Ghost Pump product, a pineapple version. This just released a couple weeks ago, and um, essentially I ordered it the day it came out. Uh, they released a couple other things, but I just really wasn't that interested. And after the Chips Ahoy incident, which you can check out that video here uh, in the card, uh, wasn't a huge fan, I'll just say that. This is the next product that I picked up, and it is the Ghost Pump Pineapple, like I said. And uh, we're gonna do a full review. Now, I'm not gonna take this through necessarily a workout. I'm not gonna show you the workout. I'm not gonna come back and tell you how the pump was. I have taken this product before, the lemon lime version. So I'm just gonna kind of give you my thoughts. We're gonna break down the supplement still into three different parts. We're gonna talk about price, talk about the ingredient breakdown, and then lastly, the taste. So let's get started. Number one, price. This comes in at $36.99 on ghostlifestyle.com. And I've said this about pretty much every ghost product that I've reviewed. I don't have a specific code to give you guys, but you guys can just Google search ghost lifestyle coupon codes, and I guarantee you'll find some 20% off coupons. Now, with that being said, they give you 20% off, but they still charge for shipping. Come on. Amazon's out here making billions of dollars. I think Ghost could uh, get the free shipping in line. Like, come on guys, just throwing that out there. Much respect to you guys for what you do and how much the company has grown, but charging for shipping is just one of those things, I think 2001. But I digress. I think that price point is extremely high. Um, and the reason I'm gonna say that is because this canister is somewhat uh, deceiving, okay? So when I looked at the label, basically it was based on two scoops. Now, when I looked at that two scoops, that was based on only 20 servings, which they do disclose right here on the label, and that's fine. I just would have preferred to have a 30 serving because then on the back here, they also have 40 legendary scoops, which technically, yes, there are 40 scoops within here, but in order to get the dose that you need or that you're ideally looking for, you gotta take two scoops. So in terms of price, guys, I'm honestly gonna give this a two out of five. Um, this is one of those interesting products that I think you could take standalone as a pre-workout, uh, non-caffeine, basically no stims. Um, but at the same time, if you are stacking this with one of their other you know, Ghost products, Ghost Legend, which I do see a lot of their athletes doing, um, obviously they're getting their product for next to nothing or free. Um, it, I mean, it's expensive. That's extremely expensive. So in terms of price, I'm gonna give it two out of five. Now, uh, in terms of the label, let's get right into that and I'll kind of give you guys a breakdown here. So like I said, two scoops is 18 grams. So that means each scoop is nine grams. Um, I'm gonna base all of these supplement facts based on what they disclose, two scoops, 18 grams. And so let's get right into it. Start off with four grams of L-citrulline. That is a good dose. I wish I would have seen six grams if I'm paying $37 for 20 servings, essentially. I should be seeing at least six grams of citrulline if this is a pump product. Now, there are some other things in here, I'm gonna to get to that in a sec, but I'm just saying for me personally, I would have liked to see six grams of citrulline. So moving right along, like I said, there are 2.5 grams of the arginine nitrate, which is another pump product. You know, arginine, that's gonna help with vasodilation, helping push blood. Uh, into the muscle tissue. All right, so then we have two grams of taurine. I've talked about the synergy that occurs or what has been studied and occurs when it when it is mixed with caffeine. There is no caffeine in this. Um, like I said, if you are stacking it though, it is gonna help with that mental focus and mental clarity. At least in my opinion, I do feel like that does actually work. We have 1.5 grams of the glycer size. This is formerly known as glycer pump. Um, I've talked about this product before. It was in the Send It pre-workout review and basically it's gonna help push more as much fluid as possible into the muscle tissue. And we want that. Uh, we want as much blood and fluid and everything else going right into our muscles when we're working out and post-workout. Next up, we have 300 milligrams of Norvaline. Again, that can be found in the UXO Send It. So uh, a lot of similarities in terms of ingredients with other pre-workouts. And I've said actually in my Send It video that Norvaline I rarely see, but interesting to see it here. 300 milligrams, same exact amount as the Send It. We have 200 milligrams of the Pine Bark Extract. And then we have 50 milligrams of estrogen that's gonna help with the absorption. 
I've talked about estrogen a lot. This is actually probably one of the first products I ever tried that had estrogen in it. Now, like I said, guys, I have not tried this. See, doing the Dairy Queen thing. I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna take two scoops today. Now, I'll be honest, I am gonna stack this with the Ghost CG, okay? Just because I want caffeine. I have been extremely tired and um, I think it's only right. So really the basis of this whole review is more about the taste and, and the flavors. And I, I don't typically like doing reviews like this because I think, you know, I think taste and whatnot can be very, very subjective. You know, like I said in my Chips Ahoy video, um, some people like it and a lot of people don't. Um, but for me personally, I was not a fan. But all right, so in terms of what it recommends here, it recommends six to eight ounces of water if you're doing one scoop and 10 to 12 ounces if you're doing two scoops. Now I'm gonna do two scoops. Like I said, uh, I'm going for full benefits here, even though I am gonna take a stack this with another product. Um, I'm just really interested to see how this affects me. Now, when I did used to take this before, I only did one scoop um, and I was stacking it and that's kind of how I went about it. Cap this. All right. So in terms of mixability, it looks very clear on the bottom here, the very kind of darkish yellow, orangish pineapple juice uh, kind of look. It smells very pineapple-y. <laughs> Cheers. So this is where I think they really excel. I think this is where things are usually, I say usually because 90% of the time on point. Taste of that is incredible. It honestly tastes just like pineapple juice, maybe slightly sweeter, obviously maybe a little thicker. Uh, I mean, I know pineapple juice with pulp can get pretty thick, but this is really good. This is very refreshing. I mean, I wouldn't recommend just drinking this to drink because obviously it's pretty expensive and it's more or less a non-stim pre-workout if you want to look at it like that. Now, in terms of the label, I didn't really get to that and, and what my rating is. Based on just the label, not thinking about the price, I think it's a four out of five. I think there's a lot of really good ingredients in here. I think it's really difficult to rate this because it's not really a pre-workout. It's not really an intra-workout. It's kind of like Ghost is designed to be stacked, right? You're supposed to like stack, take two different products. And so when I think about take, having to take two different products, I think, well, that's one expensive and two, it's upping their margins. I think this is dosed properly. I think if you're looking for a good pump product, this is probably it, but you can probably find everything that you want out of a non-stim pre-workout. And there's a lot of them out there um, and you know you could really get a little bit more. So in terms of the rating, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I don't think it's terrible. I think it's the way you wanna look at it. Um, and I'm trying to be, you know, not think about the price point when I make that judgment, but it just really plays into this. And so, and obviously if you're only taking one scoop, I, I think it's highly underdosed. So, um, you know, I'm gonna knock it down a point at least, um, you know, like I said, two scoops, I think it's pretty good and I'll give it a four out of five. Now in terms of taste, okay, taste is five out of five, okay? This is a five out of five taste, mixability, everything on here, in here is on point. And it really kind of brings me back into that ghost family and into the ghost lifestyle, as they say, because honestly, I was very put off by the Chips Ahoy marketing, the Chips Ahoy protein taste, um, and the label itself, you know, when I did the breakdown, I was not happy. So, you know, with this product, this kind of, you know, sets things straight for me, makes me feel a little bit better about going, continuing to purchase ghost products and reviewing them for you guys. This was not sent to me for free. But yeah, guys, overall, I would say this is this is one of those unique products that is gonna be, I think, designed or it should be bought by someone that is specifically looking for something that's really just a pre-workout pump product with no caffeine and that's all they're looking for. In terms of stacking it, if you have the money, by all means, stack it. And I mean, do I have the money? No, but I have all these supplements here and so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna stack it and I'm gonna try to get the best workout I can today. So um, in terms of that, guys, it, it's kind of a 50-50 here in terms of what I recommend. Do you have Vince's seal of approval? Um, I don't know, it's gonna depend. You know, leave a comment below, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you're gonna buy this product, you did buy this product, what you think about the taste. Um, yeah, just leave a comment. And so with that being said, guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. 
If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe and bell again for notifications. I really appreciate it. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.